Hi. Well, I've, I'm still working on this animation project that uh, I've been working on for, well, way too long. But it's fun. And um, I've got this. This is the first scene. This is where the first scene is going to take place in a warehouse meth lab kind of thing. Um, and if you, if I scroll the um, animation here, you can see the camera move. That's all that's moving here in this right now. And let's zoom in and take a look at this. So here are the guys. These are the bad guys. Um, these guys I got from Adobe Fuse and Mixamo. And I hear now that Adobe Fuse is actually going away. So um, there, I guess there are going to there are other options like Reillusion Character Creator and things like that. Um, I'm creating the main characters myself, but all the secondary characters and stuff. It would be a nice thing to be able to kind of create them fairly quickly. Um, oh, let's take a look at the uh, look dev on this. Um, it kind of takes a little while. So you can see some of the textures on it. You can't really see any of the lighting. Um, uh, it's going to think for a while. So there you go. So you can kind of see, get a sense of at least the textures on it. Um, what I'm also doing is using Render Street, a render farm. Uh, let's take a look at that, actually. If I go, well, let's see. Let me go here, and we can take a look at it here. So I've uploaded this f file to Render Street, and it took two days to <laughs> render it. Um, well, let's take a look at it. So you can see here the camera moving through the warehouse, and all of these animations are from Mixamo. So I've just... Uh, downloaded the characters with the anim animations and scaled them to the size I want and placed them in the scene. And they work pretty well. This is kind of a proof of concept just to see if it'd work. Um, and yeah, I think it works pretty well. And you can see the uh, front end loader over here that I used for one of my courses long ago. I just grabbed that out of an old Blender file and put it in there. Um, but yeah, so this was really kind of a proof of concept, just to see how it would work. Um, and I think the combination of Blender 2.8, Substance Painter, and Render Street here um, is a pretty good collection of tools. So that's what I'm doing there. Uh, well, let's take a look at the one of the main characters, actually. Uh, let me save this. And um, here. So here's one of the characters. So the story is about a father and son superhero <laughs> duo. Um, of course, there's always conflicts because of it's father and son. Uh, but also, they don't really have a whole lot of cash, so they have to like um, build their superhero costumes out of like motocross um, uniforms or suits and things like that. Uh, let's take a look at him up here. And here, here's him without the goggles. So he's like a teenager. He's like high school. And I'm not sure if he looks a little too old for high school. I may have to work on that. Um, so that's what I've been doing with this project. I'm also working on a, um, another Blender course. I can take a look at that real quick just to show you what I'm working on there. Um, do I want to save the changes? No, I really don't. So this bad boy is what I'm working on for the next Blender course that I'm doing. It's going to be a, uh, a game vehicle course. So we're going to create this. This is still a work in progress. We're on um, video number 42, 43. And there'll probably be like 80 videos, I think. But um, we're going to create this, uh, take it into a Substance Painter, 
then take it into Unity and use the Unity vehicle rig on it and get it driving around. So I think that that'll be pretty cool. Um, if you actually want to take a look at any of my current courses, I've got them at Udemy. Um, and currently it looks like, look at this, it's on sale. They're on sale for eleven ninety nine, which is great. Uh, but actually, if you go to DarrenLyle.com and click on the same course in here, what it'll do is it'll take you back to Udemy, apply a coupon, and get it for nine ninety nine. So eleven ninety nine is pretty good. Nine ninety nine is a little better. So all you got to do is go to DarrenLyle.com and click on any of the links here and it will take you to any of the courses to get the best price that you're going to get, $9.99. So give that a shot. Um, all right, so let me go back to uh, the warehouse. And what I've been working on is the warehouse ex exterior, or at least this kind of warehouse area here. And um, this is going to be scene two. We're going to have police cars and police officers, and uh, they're going to be putting the bad guys in the cars and things like that. Um, so I'm just working on this building for now. Um, I've got some other images in here that I'm going to be working on for the other buildings. But what I'm trying to do now is get this one um, over into Substance Painter. And uh, let me hide the building templates here and the ground and just get this over into Substance Painter. And what I've done so far is I've got it UV mapped um, except for these things. Uh, let's take a look at what these things are here. So these things are all of the, um, oh, what would you call these? A window ledge, I guess, right? So. This is all what needs to be done right here. So I think what I need to do is probably just select these and hide everything else. Let me try this. And uh, I'll hide this. Let me turn this back on. There we go. Um, oh, it's still not... Let me try this. There it is. Okay. So for these, I think all I need to do is just um, select these edges and add seams to them here. Let's give this a try. So hopefully I can continue working on this into the future. I Every time I get going on a project or, you know, something I want to do, <laughs> I get pulled away from it for one reason or another. And it turns out that every time I turn on the camera <laughs> here on YouTube, I actually get work done. And so I'm thinking, let's do that again. And it, it's actually very helpful for me to get the work done. So I'm just going to select all of these here and control E and mark seam here. Okay, so now that we've got all of those, let's select them and unwrap. Okay, so that's good, but I think I'm gonna need them all going up and down. Let me turn some of these. Turn some of these like this. This one I could probably turn. There we go. So I want them up and down because the bricks for everything else is going to be going horizontally. Yeah. Select the, okay, so now I've just got all of these. All right, so I'm going to grab them all, move them out of the zero to one space. Now let's bring everything else back. Now I need to put them in here somewhere. So I bet I could shrink them down, put them right in here maybe. Let's give it a try. 
Okay. So that looks pretty good. I could think I could use those right in there. See, so the bricks for this area is going to go horizontally. And then if I use this same color ID, then they'll go um, perpendicular on here. So what I need to do now is work on the color ID. I had some of it done until I realized I needed those things in there too. Um, let's go over to Vertex Paint and let's see what I got here. <clears throat> so it looks like I've got some things but not others. All right, so I need to work on this up here. This is probably going to be brick, right? So let me go back to edit mode here so I can choose these by faces. If I select that and this, those are going to need to be the same color ID as this up here since it's all brick. So what do I have for the color ID there? I have this one, right? Let's do that. Shift K. I need to redo this. Every time I move, I've got to redo this. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so that doesn't look quite right, now does it? Oh yeah, there it is. It's because I had that selected and those weren't. All right, so that's good. Let's also uh, maybe select this one right in here. Yeah, let's get that one in there too. There we go. Now up here is probably going to be a completely different material and texture. So let's select that and let's create a whole new color ID for that. Um, I guess we can move it over here. Bring this down. Although it looks like that's what I have there. Let's find something else. How about in here? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Get that there. Um, these things. I'm going to need the little window ledges here. So let's select those. I'm going to turn off the seam. There we go. Go through and select all of these. And then go back to vertex paint and let's find another color here. How about something like this? Yeah, like that. All right. So is that everything now? I think that is. Got the windows. Oh, what about the bars? It doesn't look like I've got anything on the bars here. Okay. Let's work on that. Let me tab back into edit mode. Um, I'll just hit L and get these guys. Okay, uh, back into vertex paint, new color. How about like this? I'm trying to find a color that's pretty different from what we already have. <laughs> it's kind of hard to find. Okay, I think that'll work. All right. Yeah, so I think now we've got a color ID on everything, and we've got a UV map. So, is that going to work? Only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and select it and export it out. And select an object only. Where was I going to put this? Exports. Here we go. All right, let's go take a look at Substance Painter. Let's bring this in. Uh, here it is. Okay. Okay, so we've got that. 
And if we look at, um, okay, so there's our UV map. All right, let's give it a try. So I got a bake. Uh, I wanted it 2048 here. And let's bake everything. Alrighty. I think that'll work. That's good. Now, here comes the test. I'm going to go ahead and create a group, and we're just going to call this brick. Uh, let me try that again. Okay. Um, now, for this, I want to uh, mask with color selection and select that red. Now, let's drag some sort of brick up into here. What do I have? Camden Blend. All right, that doesn't look too bad, actually. What else do I have? No. Uh, Mediterranean. No, oh, no. Midlothian. <laughs> uh, let's go to Substance Source and see what they have. I feel like there's more that we can do here. Now, don't look at my password here. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Well, here's that grout-covered one that I have. Well, what, what looks good here? That I kind of like. That might be what I'm looking for here. Yeah, let me try this. Download that. And there it is. So I'm going to drop it right in that group. And whoa, that's huge. Why is it so huge? Let's uh, reduce that some. Maybe, I don't know, should it be eight? Let's try that. Yeah, that eight looks a little bit better. All right. Um, <coughs> I realize now that I should have made the window ledges the same, the same material ID, right? Then it would have just all worked together. Mm. And I don't really like this much. I may have to change the alignment of this on the sides because I want them to go this way, right? All right. Well, that's what this was for. It was a test. <laughs> so let's go back to Blender and let's take a look at how we can rearrange the UV map to get this to work and the color ID as well. All right. So if I go back to Vertex Paint, at the very least, I can go ahead and uh, grab these guys, these window ledges here. And I can change the color ID to the same oops, as the rest of the brick, which I think is this, right? There we go. Yep, okay, so that should help with that. I'm going to save a new scene here. Okay. Um, now, these guys on the side... Let me select these. This. These need to be spun the other way. These need to be turned 90 degrees. So let's go over here. Ah, there they are. Okay. So let's try that. I'll move that out. I'm going to maximize this. And um, let's see. Let's turn it. I'm going to put this, ooh, that fits right there. That's nice. All right, and then this one we got to turn. Let's put that in there. Okay, so what is this? 
does that also need to be dealt with? Where is that? Ah, it's that. I bet we're going to need to turn that too. Let's do that. Okay. Let's give this a try. Always a test. Always have to test and try again. All right, so there it is. Let's export it again now. Um, instead of writing over that, I'm going to create a new one. So we're going to want O2. Let's do that. Okay. Let's start over. Discard. All right, so there it is. Let's go through the process once again here. Uh, let's go ahead and bake. Going to do 2048 again. All right. Now, let's go back and let's try this again. Uh, there we go. Color selection. Grab that red. And this is the, yeah, that's the brick we wanted, right? Aha, okay. So let's try this now. Um, what did I have this at? Eight? Yeah, see, so now these are going kind of up and down. I'm not real fond of that cross brick there. I like these. But not sure how we could easily change that. These over here... I can live with that. I really can. That's that's not bad. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering what would happen if I just change this to 9, something like that. What would change? Not a lot. What about 7? That's too big. I like 8. So I'm going to have to think about how to get these a little different. I mean, I can move them in the UV map, but it's difficult to know where to move them. So I'm going to have to think about a strategy for that. I like all the others except this one and this one. So I could go back and test that. All right. Um, let's take a look at the roof. I don't think we'll ever see the roof, actually, but um, might as well try it. I need a... Um, What's this? Metal stripe. I was trying to find a corrugated. Oh, corrugated, yeah. Yeah, let's try this. Okay. I'm going to create a new group here. And uh, that'll be the roof. And we'll select this color right there. And drop this in there. See how that works. Okay, well, there are several problems. <laughs> And these are in no particular order. First of all, the, the rotation. Second of all, the scale. That eh, may be too much. Let's try eight. Yeah, okay. I think that'll be, that'll be fine. As I said, I don't know that we're ever going to see that. Because we're going to see things from down here. All right. What else? Um, well... What else do we need to do here? I'm thinking that maybe these should be like boarded up windows. I don't really plan for these to be windows. I plan for them to be just boarded up wood over that. So let's see what um, I can find here. What do I have available? Wood, rough, rotten. I don't know if... Either of these are exactly what I was looking for, but let me let me try one. Um, 
Well, I don't know if I want to do all the windows the same, so I'll just call this window one. Let's try that. And let's select that and then grab that um, wood rough and drag that in there. All right. All right, let's try eight. Yeah, it's just, it's too much. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. So, okay, let's, let's go see what we can find here. Um, so, we need some sort of a old plywood type. Maybe I'll type in plywood and see what they have. Nothing. Okay. Well, there's my answer. All right, so let's scroll through here and see what we can find. There's cedar white wood. Um, and of course we can add dirt to it, but I was just hoping to find kind of an old plywood type of thing. Everything is always so clean and pristine in here. Um, Well, not really seeing what I want here. I mean, there's this. <laughs> Medieval floor planks. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> um, Medieval timber beam. Um, what was this here? Planks. Let me take a look at this. This probably isn't quite what I'm looking for either, but I'm really looking for more of a plywood, but let me try this. Here it is right here. Uh, yeah, let me get rid of this. Let's bring this in. Whoa, that's awful. What is going on there? Oh, I see, okay. Let's just... It's really clear that it's a repeating pattern. I'm kind of surprised that they did that. Hmm. Well, it's because we're so high, we're so high in the scale. Yeah, that's not going to work either, is it? Well, I have an idea. What if we took that wood rough? What about rotten wood? Let's try this. Oh, well, that's not, that's not terrible. Okay, hang on. That's not terrible, actually. Yeah. I kind of like that. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now, what about this garage door? I'm wondering if I should have done some sort of modeling for it uh, to make it look like a garage door, you know? Because I doubt, <laughs> I doubt they have garage door uh, materials in here. Nope, they do not. So I think I probably should have done more modeling for the door there. At least what I can do here is um, for this wood here, maybe I can go ahead and apply something for that while we're here. Because clearly I'm gonna have to go back and do more modeling, I think. Um, garage trim here. All right, so let's take a look at this. Select that color there. Uh, well, that's interesting. Oh, I see. Um, uh, let's look at more wood, but I think what I need is wood from here. Let's see what we got again. Here. Fence painted wood. Well, that's a possibility. Let's just see. It might be... I might just be able to get away with it. You know, as you can see, I'm 
moving pretty quickly because this is a huge project and I just need to get things in there for now. Uh, let's see what happens here. Ooh. That's not too bad for this and this, but <laughs> something's going on here. <laughs> That's not right. So I'm going to have to turn that UV for that one too. Man, I'm going to have to start taking notes about what's going on here. Um, let me think. Well, yeah, I'm going to make a note real quick for this. And I'll have to come back to it. Yeah, dang it. All right. Uh, let's, how about the bars here? Let's take a look at this. Um, I guess we just need a metal. An iron chain, no. Steel rough. How about this here? Let's try this. Oh, let me, uh, well, I'll drop it in right here, and it'll go over the entire thing. There's a look for you, huh? And then, uh, Let's choose that color here. There we go. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Um, now these things. What do we got here? I forget what we have. I think... <clears throat> Let me create a new group. Uh... Well, I should call this Windows Glass. Let's do that and pick this greenish color here. Now, I think for this I can get away with like a plastic and kind of change the color. Um, I could try this. Okay, this is going to be weird, but bear with me here. So, let me go down and change the color here. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And then, um, let's do it again. Let's call this uh, Windows Cross Frames. And right here. Okay. So, what do we want here? Actually, we could do that same metal thing again. Or we could do an, uh, another one. Let's do another one. How about uh, this one here? Let's try this. Yeah, actually, that's kind of cool. Um, let's increase the scale. Yeah, it's not too bad. And let's um, steel rough. Let's increase that a bit. There we go. All right. Um, these things back here, I don't really know if it's going to be wood or if it's going to be glass. I guess we could do the same thing again. What kind of color do we have with that? Let me take a look. Oh, what's that? Pink. Hmm. Okay. Well, do we want the same kind of glass behind there? 
I'm not sure. Can we add another color selection? I think we can, can't we? Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I feel like I, 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 I could do this same thing. Let me do just this same thing. So what I did was a plastic, right? And let me just uh, grab that. And where was that plastic? Here, right? And then I want this one pretty, pretty dark. Let me uh, bring this pretty way far down here. Okay, too much. <laughs> Let's try that. How's that? That's not too bad. Let me, um, I should probably warehouse one exterior. Let's try this. And we'll, oh. yeah. Oh, I got a warehouse one exterior. Here we go. Okay. So that's not bad. I feel like I want wood here as well. Can I use the same wood? Yeah, let's try this. Uh, window wood two. Um, let's grab that. And uh, I want to grab that same wood. What was it? The rotten wood there. And for this one, What I want to do is turn it, of course. Let me do that. Like that. So I want it up and down, I think. And then, like that. Um, I want to change the color so it's a little bit lighter. And I want to take away that height rough no take away the normal there take away the normal so it looks a, a little flatter like a piece of plywood and then let's uh let's go like that there we go that doesn't look like it's repeating too much okay now this other one let me save that's going to be wood three. Um, let's select that color. And what do we want for this? I guess a similar thing. I can, I can maybe keep it like this. Increase the scale. Not that much. Like that. Um, and maybe I can change the color a bit. Let me try that. Let me try a random seed. See if I can get something that looks a bit different than anything else. Yeah, okay. And then maybe something like that. Let's try that. So I just wanted things that were slightly different for each one so they didn't all look exactly the same. So now I've got to deal with that 
garage door. What did I have? Let me find, let me go back here. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I see. So I've got, oh, I see. Okay. So I need to model this. Oh, look, there's a light there too. I had to add that. And then I ought to add some um, wood framing or crossbars here, I bet you. That might help. Yeah. All right. So let me first add those crossbars. And of course, I'm going to have to UV map it again, or at least that area, or with these bars here. Let's uh, select that right there. Move that cursor to it. And let's create those crossbars. Don't need that back face. There we go. Hmm, can't really see it like that, can we? Um, there we go. Let's get this in place like that. Maybe kind of a two by four. Like that. And then uh, let's just duplicate that and move it down like this. All right, so we got those in. Um, the garage door. <coughs> How to do that? I guess I could just insert a whole lot of edge loops and then um, bevel the edges and then uh, extrude out a bit. Well, let's try that. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? All right. Um, I think, first of all, let me grab this edge and I just want to get rid of it for now and then I'm going to start just adding tons of edges here, like this. Let's try that. Now with all those selected, yeah, let's go ahead and um, bevel these edges and pull those out just a bit like that. So we have a little bit of a space between them. And then let's invert it. Oh, no, I can't invert it. That selects everything else. <laughs> All right. Uh, then I'll just select it like this. Do it the old-fashioned way. All right, I'll just select them all like this. And then let's just extrude them out. And I feel like I could... Um, scale them in each one. Let me... Uh, how about if we go to individual origins and scale in the Z? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that looks okay. Let's try this. So now we've got to re UV map this. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to redo everything outside because or in the in in Substance Painter because I'm going to have to um, rebake those textures. But I've got all of this already here. I can create this again or just save these as a, a, a smart materials. I can do that. That's not hard. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do the next time. So um, yeah, well, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, it's, it's, it's helpful for me to actually have some place to go and work on my work and um, try and do stuff that's, you know, I'm interested in, that I'm passionate about and want to create. So this is, th th this is pretty cool. So 
I will see you the next time and uh, take care.